Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. I am the Wolf Cook and welcome to the Wolf Kitchen. Here is where I will show you how you can also cook these restaurant quality dishes in your own kitchen. And you can make these dishes at a fraction of the price by following my instructions and my simple advice. Today, I'm excited to be making a gigantic shrimp po' boy sandwich. So big, delicious and good that after eating this sandwich, you're gonna be satisfied, happy and full. I know to some of you, my cooking style may be a little unusual and a little unique, but that just adds to the mystique. And with each one of my recipes, it has been already Wolf Cook tested and Wolf Cook approved. Now, before we get started today, I would like to recognize a YouTube channel, Praying Couple Series. Praying Couple Series recreated my honey shrimp stir fry recipe while wearing my Wolf Cook merchandise and also doing the Wolf Cook howl. Thank you so much, Praying Couple Series. I encourage everyone to please check out Praying Couple Series, a very good YouTube channel. Now, for those of you who are visiting my channel for the very first time or you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notification bell and let's get started. Now, the first thing we are going to start with is the ingredients. And all the ingredients, the measurements, and the cooking instructions can be found below in the video description. To start with, one and one half pounds of slightly butterflied shrimp. And to coat our shrimp, we have Zatarain's Fish Fry Crispy Southern. And the reason I use Crispy Southern, it already has all the seasoning I need to season the shrimp. After the shrimp is done, we're gonna use our hoagie bread and we're gonna add butter and garlic powder to our hoagie bread. After the hoagie bread is done, we're gonna use tartar sauce. And this is homemade tartar sauce that I use for mayo, sweet relish, lemon juice, and black pepper. After I add the tartar sauce, we're gonna add the lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes. The, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make haystack shoestring potatoes. And this is why we have this potato. And after the potato is done, we're gonna add salt and truffle oil. And to make our haystack shoestring potatoes, we have my electric potato pillow. And I'm gonna show you how this works later on in the video. Now, we're gonna bring this all together. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our haystack shoestring french fries. First, I'm going to add the potatoes. Now that I have it situated like this, next I'm just gonna press the button and watch it go. As you can see, it's very long. Now, once I've finished the skin, I'm just gonna bring it back up. Press the button again. And it's just gonna be peeling potatoes now. And I'm just gonna repeat this process until the potato is almost done. This is the last turn I'm gonna get from the potato. Hey, 
taste that shoestring fries. The only thing next to do is to fry it. Now it's time to season the shrimp. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season our shrimp. I'm gonna add a few. set these aside and add some more and I'm gonna keep this process up until it's all done now I'm coming up on my last batch of shrimp that I have to coat Now these are all finished coating and they are ready for the electric fryer. And it's only gonna take about three minutes to cook. Now we're gonna add some shrimp to the basket. I'm just gonna just make a single layer. They're gonna go for about three minutes. Now while it's cooking, I'm gonna work on the bread. Now the shrimp, it's been three minutes. And the shrimp is ready. That looks good. I'm gonna dump these. Then I'm gonna add the second batch. I'm gonna drop these down and let them cook also for three minutes. Now it's coming up on three minutes later for the second batch. I'm gonna just drain this for a second. It looks good. Look at that. It looks good. Now it is time to make the haystack fries. First I'm going to start by adding it into the basket. This is only going to take about a minute. First, I'm going to drop it in there and check back in one minute. Now, it's been one minute later and they are done. Look at that, everybody. Haystack shoestring french fries. Now, with these, I'm just gonna add some salt to them. And a little truffle oil. All done everyone. Now it is time to build the shrimp pole boy. Now it is time to build the shrimp pole boy. I have already toasted my hoagie bun with butter and garlic powder. As you can see, it is already toasted. Now I'm going to add the tartar sauce. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to start with adding my lettuce. Next, I'm going to add my tomatoes. Next, I'm going to add the pickles. And now I'm going to add the shrimp. I'm just going to add it just so. This is a lot of shrimp, everyone. Then I'm just going to close this up. Look at that, look at that, everyone. A shrimp po' boy fit for a wolf. Everyone, my gigantic shrimp po' boy is done. And me and Mrs. Wolf will be sinking our teeth into this delicious treat. Just a reminder to everyone, I now have memberships. If you want to join and support me, please hit that join button. I also have Wolf Cook merchandise like my Wolf Cook baseball cap and Wolf Cook apron. Just go to my YouTube store if you would like to purchase one of my products. Also, I randomly select loyal subscribers to my channel and give them a shout out at the end of my videos. To see if you are one of the channels that was selected, please watch the rest of this video. If you was not selected as of yet, I will eventually get to you. So keep leaving those comments and watching my videos because you never know when you will be next. Now, before I go, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share this video out, and leave a comment to tell me what you think. And please tell your family, your friends, co-workers, and even those neighbors to tune in to watch Wolf Cook cook these delicious restaurant quality meals. Please stay to the end of the video. Again, thanks for watching and see you soon.